So, hey, um, today I guess we're going to be like rapidly roasting my art or something. Because honestly, I'm just kind of done with art. I should have stopped like a long time ago. And to prove my point, we're going to roast my old art like a rotisserie chicken. Let's start by looking at my old traditional art because honestly, it's just horrible. Like, why did I keep drawing? Her head is massive. If I was a moon, I would orbit around it. Also, what is up with this hair shape? How would it be flowing like this? Oh, look, I did it again. My love, will you marry me? Yes, my dear, I will. I love how your eyes touch the bridge of your nose and how your oddly tiny ear is in the middle of your head. Also, how did you know I always wanted to be proposed to with a cube? You know me so well. Apparently these two have a mess of spaghetti noodles for hands. Also, the sun isn't a circle, it's an oval, scientifically confirmed. But seriously, like why are all the heads so big? Why is her cat shadow so dark and not the same shape as her body? Mom, the kids make fun of me for my ridiculously large forehead. Oh, don't worry, honey. That's because you do have a ridiculously large forehead. Why did I draw a giant piece of broccoli in the background? Hopefully by looking at this awful art, you're seeing my point. You can really tell by looking at this art that I really should have just given up. Anyways, I'm getting tired of digging through my mess of an art bin. So we're going to switch to digital art now because I'm lazy. I didn't want to draw the other hand, so I tucked it behind her bum. This makes perfect sense. Totally makes sense. What even is this background? I just slapped on a weird gradient and called it good. You could land a plane on that forehead. Like an idiot, I spent hours detailing the tree, even though you hardly see it. If you want to know what colors to shade yellow with to make it look really unappealing, just look at this picture. For some reason, he reminds me of a woodland creature, like a squirrel. But I don't know why. I am concerned for the safety of her eyeballs. Why is the light from this window so bright? Is God outside her window? Her shiny orbs want to steal your soul. It looks like she tried to curl her hair, but accidentally fried it to a crisp. Even younger me knew this one was bad. I didn't finish it. Also, she has the proportions of an alien. I made my mom a get well card. And I thought what would make her feel better is a chibi version of her that's sick. Why would this make her feel better? Does anyone have a box that they can't get open? Just go to this girl. She can use her chin as a box cutter. I remember I couldn't draw the hands, so I took the easy way out and made the mittens. Younger me couldn't even draw hands. Why did I keep drawing? See, I should have just called it quits here. I hate the font I used in this. It looks so robotic. And what even is this formatting? The text looks so awkward. She's Dumbo. Her ears are massive. Also, this background is horrific. Look at this tree texture. And why is she holding a random stick? If I remember right, I didn't know what to do with her hands. So the best solution I thought of was to make her hold a random stick. Another awful background with another awfully textured tree. Like, did I even know what trees look like? Younger me needed to go outside and touch some grass. I remember spending way too much time on these over-the-top shoelaces that we hardly even see. If you have to zoom in like a thousand percent to see the details, don't bother. Like seriously. So this is the same character as the last one, but now she's starring in a shampoo commercial. Wow, look at that shine. Look, look at this. This is an outrage. How dare I avoid drawing the hands by putting them behind the back. If this isn't a sign I should have stopped drawing, I don't know what is. Doesn't this card just scream happy birthday? I don't know about you, but when I think birthdays, I think of grayscale and lace, and eyes that are oddly way more rendered than everything else. She looks like she discovered makeup for the first time. And these eyelashes are weirding me out. Why are they flowing like that? Nope, wait, I take it back. This girl, she is Dumbo. He's just standing there, menacingly. Her upper arm is so long. What the heck? Also, I think the tail would have looked better without the badly drawn scales, just saying. I remember looking at this picture and thinking, hmm, something seems off. Apparently, I only thought the mouth needed fixing, not the dead looking eyes. Oh look, another piece of broccoli. Hey, 
So just because I feel like torturing myself, how about we go over to my old deviant art and see what's on there? Why did I feel the need to put my watermark so many times? Because someone is definitely going to want to steal this masterpiece. Don't know what brand of volumizing shampoo she is using, but can I borrow some? <sighs> Even after years of practice, I still felt the need to hide one of the hands behind the body. Oh look, we have some angsty stuff. Where do I go? I don't know, how about outside? To get some sunshine. You might need some fresh air. And go look at some trees to see what they actually look like. Please. I put the Len in Valentine's Day? Ugh. I remember thinking this pose was cool for some reason. It's literally just a basic tea pose. Oh boy, more angsty art. How can I feel so sad? when there's nothing to be sad about. I have two words for you, teenage hormones. Also, I love how in the caption I'm like, I'm totally fine, don't worry about me, lol. So it's supposed to be like cold outside and you can see his breath, but like how much is he exhaling? Why is there so much breath? This horse is making me uncomfortable for some reason. I don't like how it's looking at me. This was a redrawing of this picture and she still looks dead inside. Huh. Even after years of drawing, my trees still look like broccoli. Uh, so yeah, I think I've proven my point. As you can see, I clearly should have given up on drawing because you know, it's not like drawing has given me joy over the years or anything. It wasn't a way for me to relax or express myself. It's really just been a huge waste of time and I think I'm ready to just be done. I can totally just stop drawing and never do it again. I definitely won't miss it or anything. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this. I can't do it anymore. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. Since April Fool's Day fell on a Saturday this year, I wanted to do something for it. Obviously, I don't want to stop drawing and please don't take any of the stuff I said before seriously. It was all a joke and just for fun. I do find it funny to kind of joke about how bad my art was and poke fun at my younger self. But truly, I always like looking at my old art and seeing how I've improved over the years and how my art has grown. I kept jokingly saying I should have just quit because my art was bad. But back when I started drawing, I didn't draw because I felt like my art was amazing or anything. I did it because I thought it was fun and I really enjoyed drawing, creating, and trying to learn how to improve. Even if you think your art isn't very good right now or it's not where you want it to be, all that matters is that you enjoy creating. Art has been a great outlet for me over the years, and I'm so thankful to where it has brought me in life, and for all of the amazing people it has allowed me to connect with, like all of you. I feel like this is turning into a deep conversation for an April Fool's Day video, <laughs> but I just wanted to make myself clear and let it be known I was just joking. Please don't take anything I said seriously. I love art and don't want to give up on it anytime soon. Hopefully you still found this video funny. I spent a good amount of time trying to think of ways to roast my art. Also, it was really hard to stay in character of being like not amused and being a little bit more sassy and sarcastic, I suppose. <laughs> I kept laughing throughout the audio. <laughs> I might throw in the clips of it at the end here. I'm way more used to talking like this and I had a very hard time staying in character for the April Fool's joke. <laughs> Also, this video is shorter than usual, but it's really hard to make rapidly roasting stuff last for a super long period of time. Uh, so I hope you're okay with this shorter video. Uh, anyways, happy April Fool's Day. Did you fall for the joke at all? Did you think I seriously wanted to give up art? Or did you catch on pretty quickly? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Before we end, I want to say a super big thank you to my awesome YouTube members and Patreon patrons. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back next week for another video. Bye. Her head is massive. If I was a moon. <laughs> uh, stay dead inside. Stay dead inside. And how your oddly tiny ear is in the middle. <laughs> oh. Oh, honey. That's because you do have a... <laughs> oh, don't worry, honey. That's because you do have a... <laughs> Her shiny orbs want to steal your soul. <laughs> I put the Len in Valentine's Day. Uh. <laughs> no, I actually still love that one. I think it's a funny pun.